morning dear student welcome once again to the srbps online classes today we are going to discuss about the age related word problems so in age related word problems we get confused about what is the present age what is the past age and what is the future age so first of all we will discuss this let's see here let's suppose children my age is 30 years right if my age my present age is 30 years and i ask you to find my age before 10 years right before 10 years or i go 10 years or 10 years back all three things are the same things right so what do you will do definitely you will subtract 10 from my age to get my age 10 years back 10 years ago 10 years before so my age will be 20 years right and on the other hand if i ask you to find my age after 10 years from today after 10 years so what you will do definitely you will add why addition because already we know that ki when we are talking about from today 10 years after 10 years later or 10 years hence it means my age is going to increase and increase means to add so what we will do we will add in my age in my present age so my age will be 40 years right but suppose you do not know my age if you do not have any idea about my age then how will you find it so what we will do we will let right so what you can do you can let my age as x years let's suppose i am you are taking my age as x years so the way you have done in numerals the same way we will do in in variables right if you wanted to find my past age if you wanted to find my past age so definitely what you are going to do you are going to subtract and if you wanted to find my future age so what you will do you are going to add so if i'm asking you what is my age 15 years back so what you will do my age is x and you will subtract 15 years to get my age before 15 years before 15 years so this is my age before 15 years on the other hand if i'm asking you what will be my age after 15 years that means my age will be increased so it will be x plus 15 years right children so it's very important whenever we are doing the age related question how to write the present age how to write the age after few years and before few years right so this is the first thing that we have to keep in mind when we are doing the age related questions right now it will be clear more with this example let's start this example so here what we can see first what we have to do we have to read the question carefully what question is saying mrs goyal is 27 years older than her daughter so if i will read this statement only so what the statement tells the statement says mrs goyal is 27 years older than her daughter right children so here we can see that mrs goyal is being compared with daughter mrs goyal is being compared with daughter and each and every word problem this kind of conditions will be given every time you will find two conditions the first condition will help you to find the given quantities in terms of the variable you can form them in the form of variables and second condition will help you to frame the equation right so here this is our first condition which help us to find out the age of the mother and the daughter in the terms of variable right so here what do you have to keep in mind ki one thing is being compared with the other things right so with the thing it is being compared we will let that quantity as 
x or any variable so here we can see mrs goel age is being compared with the daughter's age so we will let daughter's age we will let daughter's age be x years right now we have let the daughter age as x years if the daughter age is x years then the mother age would be what we can write so mother's age will be as she is 27 years older older means bada so what we will do x plus 27 years so the mother age is x plus 27 years right so how we form this by using the first condition which is this right now the second condition comes after 8 years after 8 years 8 saal ke baad she will be twice as old as her daughter she will be twice as old as her daughter so this is our second condition which we will use to frame the equation but before framing the equation what is written here after 8 years so definitely after 8 years both mothers and the daughters age will be increased right so what we will find first after 8 years right so after 8 year mothers age and daughters age daughters age will be what as the mother age is x plus 27 so we will add what 8 into it similarly the daughter age is x so it will be added with 8 so the final age after 8 years would be x plus 35 which is the mother age and daughter age will remain x plus 8 so we found the age of the mother and the daughter after 8 years because our second condition is only possible after 8 years so let's start to frame the equation now we will frame our equation so when we will frame the equation question say she will be she means mother mother will be mother means mother's age we are talking about mother's age will be twice twice means two times two times of whose age whom's age her age her means the daughter's age so we will write here daughter's age right and here the age that they are talking about that is the age after 8 years right so what we will write the mother age after 8 year is x plus 35 and the daughter age is x plus 8 because it is the age we will keep it in bracket now we will proceed with the calculation part so what we will do as we can see here it is already at a saturation point now we will multiply this 2x this will be 16 now we will get the variable part at one side and the non variable part at the other side x minus 2x 16 minus 35 it will be minus what minus 1x right you all know that by the minus sign is here because it is a numerically bigger number same here we will be having our answer in negative so it will be what 15 9 and 1 19 so here we can see that the value of x will be 19 right so the x value comes 19 and the question was asking find their present ages right the question is asking present ages and as per this question we have assumed the present age of the daughter daughter's present age was assumed as x right so it means the daughter age is 19 years right and we have assumed as per the daughter age the mother age was x plus 27 so here when when we will when we will add 
and 27. What we will get? We will get 46 years. So, this is the way we can find the present age of the daughter as well as the mother. Right, so this is the present age of daughter and this is the present age of mother. Right, children? So, always we have to keep those few points in mind that how to present the given quantities in terms of the variable by using the future, present and the past concept. And second thing, always the question will be with two conditions. The first condition help us to frame the quantities in terms of the variable and the second condition help us to frame the equation. If we will follow the, these uh, steps to solve this, to solve any kind of linear equation, so it will be very easy for us to solve it. I hope you understood this. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Bye-bye.